Today, we know of several thousands of planets that orbit stars other than the Sun, and we know that many of these are remarkably different from the planets in our solar system. We know that many of these planets, these exoplanets, are gas giants, just like Jupiter on our, in our solar system, but they are more than 10 times closer to their star than Mercury is to our Sun. Some of them are so close in that it takes only about a day for them to do a full orbit around their star, a journey that takes the Earth a full year. Being so close to their star means that they are exposed to extreme amounts of irradiation, several thousands of times as much as their cold counterparts in the solar system. And to make things even more extreme, we believe that these planets are what we call tidally locked, meaning that they always expose the same side to the star. So these planets have a permanent day side that is continuously exposed to extreme heating and becomes hot enough for even iron to vaporize. And at the same time, they cool down very efficiently on their ever dark night sides. So these planets are completely unlike any object we could potentially uh, go to and study, the planets in our solar system. In fact, we cannot even resolve these planets, even with the most powerful telescopes in existence. Being so close to the star, the only thing that we can really measure is the combined light from the star-planet system, containing the planetary and the stellar component together. But now this does not mean that we cannot study them. We can study them. When the planet passes in front of the star, as seen from our vantage point, it blocks part of the stellar light, and the size of this flux drop reveals the planetary size. Also, we can determine its atmospheric composition, because some of the stellar light needs to pass through the planetary atmosphere before reaching us. And observations of this effect, which we call transmission spectroscopy, have taught us much about what we know about the nature of these objects, about the composition of their atmospheres, about the presence of clouds in their atmosphere, but also about the speed of the winds that are occurring inside of these atmospheres. Uh, I've been leading a team of scientists carrying out a survey of these transmission spectra uh, with the eight meter very large telescope, which is one of the world's most powerful observatories. Also, we can measure how much light is emitted by the planet itself. We do so by measuring how much light is lost while the planet passes, passes behind the star. Because at that moment, the planet doesn't contribute any light to the combined flux, which we can measure. An extension of this approach goes even a bit further and consists in measuring the amount of flux stemming from the planet along its orbit and then use it to construct a longitudinal brightness map of the planet. This then tells us which part of the planet is brightest, um, and as a consequence, it reveals where the planet is hottest or where there are reflective clouds in the atmosphere that uh, reflect off the incoming stellar radiation. These two features intrinsically depend on planetary climate. They depend on how efficiently the energy is absorbed, on how efficiently the energy is transported towards the planetary interior. Remember, we're talking about gas giants here, but also how efficiently this energy is transported around the planet. So it tells us about the most dominant wind structure, and as a consequence, it will also tell us about the stability of these wind structures. The KEOP satellite is a, a joint mission between ESA and Switzerland, and it's also Europe's first mission dedicated to studying exoplanets. It was launched in December 2019, and it's already started its scientific observations. Over the next 3.5 years, it will perform photometric measurements at extremely high precision, targeting the most interesting planetary system. It will measure the radii of small planets, but it will also allow us to characterize these extreme planets and their atmospheres in ever greater detail. Thank you.